This video is brought to you by Ageless Geeks. Kawabunga dudes and dudettes, this is Anthony, aka BatBomb82, and today I'll be doing a review of the Mezco 112 Collective Rumble Society Doc Nocturnal. Now I am so stoked to add yet another character to this awesome line, so before I check out the actual figure, I want to take a closer look at the packaging. Alright guys, so I want to show off the packaging here real quick, so... <clears throat> All right, guys. So I want to show off the packaging real. All right, guys. So I want to show off the packaging here real quick. So it seems like this is going to be the standard like Rumble Society type of packaging. Uh, we've seen this same same packaging with the Baron Benz, and now we're seeing it with Doc Nocturnal. Uh, so you got the simple black box with this really nice gold seal here, a very nice reflective gold with a skull emblem like that. And this is the gold on the bottom right here and on the top. Uh, nothing on the back of this, but we do get Rumble Society on the side like that, which is really nice. Uh, and this is just a magnetic clasp, so you can actually open this up and reveal a really cool image of Doc Nocturnal, which I think is awesome. And then this is just slides right out and you can see the figure under there, which is really cool. So I really like this packaging. Uh, again, this might be, I'm just assuming this is gonna be our standard Rumble Society packaging that we see might see for other characters in the future, which I'm pretty cool with because I think this looks pretty awesome. Okay, so before we actually look at the figure, I want to show some of the other stuff that we get in this box here. Uh, we get a really nice t-shirt of Doc Nocturnal right there. Uh, some really cool artwork of the character. Uh, and again, this whole shirt has this like cover image of what look like an old school like movie like poster or a movie or a TV series or something like that. So you got him saving a girl like that, uh, and then he is zip lining like that, uh, and then you got these really cool. I don't know what these are, but we're, we've kind of been calling them lobster mobsters because um, you see they're lobster type creatures, but they're also mobsters. Um, so if I can actually pull this out, and you can see them carrying Tommy guns. So I <laughs> genuinely hope we get those characters in, in this line because. I genuinely want a lobster mobster because why the hell not, right? So I think it's pretty cool. What a great shirt. This is definitely one of the better shirts uh, that they've given us over time. So really cool. Uh, we also do get a very nice thick comic book here, which I'm super stoked about. Mezco Toys Magazine Group, Doc Nocturnal like that. Uh, you got an image of the character right there. Two Tales of Twisted Terror plus the secret sanctum of Doc Nocturnal. Um, so let's just flip through this here. Now I'm noticing throughout most of this book here, um, there's not a whole lot of like worrying. Uh, it's mostly just black and white pages of really awesome artwork. You see that? Um, so you kind of just have to interpret the story for what it is right here. And it's pretty straightforward once you actually look through it. Uh, so I do like that a lot. Again, really nice artwork here. Uh, but I want to flip through towards the uh, center right here and take a look at this promotional ad right here. So um, we used to do a lot of promotional ads in old school comic books uh, and knowing Mezco here, this stuff is definitely gonna go for sale. So a baker's dozen badass battle ready weapons pack with all those types of guns and things like that. We've seen most of that, if not all of that with a bunch of different figures. So that's pretty cool. We might get an accessories pack. Uh, you can still buy that life-size giant Gomas there. Uh, what's really cool is this bag of glow-in-the-dark skulls. We've bought skulls before, but this time it's going to be giving us a glow-in-the-dark one, so that's pretty cool. Uh, Doc Nocturnal hand silk poster right there. So some of the stuff we've seen before. Uh, now this one's very interesting here. The Gomez of Death. In this game, there can only be one winner. Super limited, super exclusive for $90. Uh, and it looks like this type of almost uh, Bruce Lee Gomez. So again, I don't know if that's going to actually be a thing. Who knows with Mezco? It very well could be. So I think that's pretty awesome that we got that here. And also on this side right here, uh, you get a little list of all the different things that you can possibly order with this. So again, very interesting stuff in here. And then past that, you get another story for another comic like that really cool artwork again not a whole lot of wording uh but just really cool awesome stuff here man so i love that a lot and then coming soon 
Hawk P40. I don't know what Hawk P40 is. This is coming soon. I'm guessing that's this character, so maybe another character from the Rumble Society. Uh, real excited about that, man. I'm really digging everything that Mesco's doing with this whole original toy liner there, so I'm all about it. Rumble Society on the back like that, so very, very cool. And lastly, we get a pack of trading cards. Now, I know a lot of people don't want to open theirs. I'm totally going to open mine. This is very much like a wax pack of cards. Very old school, very nice, so I love that. You got Doc Nocturnal's Ray Gun there for a dollar, which is you could do. So, exclusive sticker included. I love this, man. So, I'm going to try and open this like so. You just peel it open very softly like that. See the Rumble Society in there. So, I haven't seen these, so this is my first time actually looking at these with you guys. So, open this up. I'm trying to be very careful because I don't want to tear this. Uh, pull this open like so. Let's peel that like that. Okay, so uh, let's see what we got here. Uh, the pres pres Pestilent Man. So that looks, dude, that's really cool looking. Look at that. And again, this these, maybe these are characters we're going to receive later on at some point in the line. Who knows, but that's pretty cool. Uh, let's see the back here. Gives a little read up. So these are straight up trading cards. That's really cool. So I love that. Uh, you have that Enchanting Sirens of S Scopoli, whatever that is. <laughs> it's gnarly, dude. I love that. See the back here. Yeah, just little read ups. And they are numbered. You got one right here, two right there. So that's pretty cool. Uh, the Harris Harasu position, whatever that is. So that's really cool. The artwork is fantastic here. Uh, Meteor Marine Mutants. That's pretty cool, too. Let's see. Attack of the 30 foot. Macaquees, Macaquees, whatever, I don't know, I can't read all this right now, but that's pretty cool, love that, let's see here, petitioning Baphomet with prayer, <laughs> that's interesting, and oh my god, I want this, Doc Nocturnal from the Beast from Hell, versus for the Beast from Hell, it's a freaking zombie mummified Frankenstein gorilla, dude, give me all of that, I want that so bad as a toy, uh, see the Tangled Web of Doom, which is really interesting. So again, very like very old school sci-fi kind of stuff going on here. So again, really really like that. Uh, Emancipating Woodford. So that's, he's trying to bring a frog to life. So he like their their uh, Frankenstein character. I don't know. So that's pretty cool. Uh, and this looks like the sticker itself, which is a Dog Knock Turtle. It's the same cover as the uh, comic book. So that's really cool too. Uh, and again, it looks like all these are number one through nine. I don't know. If people are getting different cards, I kind of doubt it. Uh, and they said they're kind of like meant to be traded. So I'm not sure if people are getting different cards. So these are still really awesome. I love stuff like this. I think this is worth collecting. Sometimes Mezco can give us really dumb stuff. But I think these are awesome, man. These are a lot of fun and just really great artwork all around. All right, guys, he's finally here. It feels like forever for some reason. Uh, but Doc Nocturnal is finally in our hands. And he's freaking awesome, man. Uh, one thing I will say, though, uh, it's a little surprising how little this guy is compared to some of the other figures, uh, which I don't mind, I guess. It's not a big deal, uh, but I did notice he's very tiny, so uh, something to note. Uh, but still, this figure looks incredible, man. So the head sculpt looks amazing. That is a new skull here. Uh, it is not the same one we've seen with the previous any previous figure. Uh, it looks really, really nice. Uh, what I do like is the jaw is actually articulated like that. Uh, but when you're posing it around with things like the collar of this cape and like that, uh, you can't really have it posed all that much because it will kind of like close on its own because the collar here is pushing it back up. So just something to note. Uh, but I love the suit here. Looks great. That skull pendant uh, right in the middle of his chest. I think it looks awesome. The whole web effect, the ornateness of this figure is awesome. That's one thing I'm really, really digging here. So I got these spider web effects right here. Really cool looking belt. Uh, the gloves right here look nice. Same uh, Gomez has we've seen before. His little communicator device, which looks great with a little skull logo on there. Uh, I love that. Nice silver and white and black. Uh, this does open up on a little hinge right there. So you can see a little communicator device like that, which I think a little readout in there. So that's pretty cool, man. I love when Mezco does stuff like this. Uh, this piece is falling off here. Ah, get on there. Uh, the skirt piece again looks really nice. Got that web pattern that kind of carries down here. The boots look really good too. Love the wash that we're getting on all this. The bottom of the feet even has the web and the skulls like that. That's freaking awesome, man. And that's what I'm telling you, the ornateness of this figure, they really went all out, which looks really good. Uh, his blaster right here, a little pistol. 
has that webbing effect on the actual holster, which is good. And I'll show that gun off shortly. But on the back, same thing with the web effect, looks really good. The pouches on that look really, really nice. I love this cape here. It's very uh, Batman-esque, and that's kind of what I feel this Dark Nocturnal character is. It's almost like the R Rumble Society's Batman, so that's kind of what I'm assuming. Uh, has that winged effect like that. And it's on a bendy wire, so you can pose it around, which is really nice, so that's really good. Uh, what's also really cool, too, uh, this little clasp right here, little button, you can actually uh, unpeg if you want to do this. So let me try and do that here on camera. This is really tricky to do on camera. You just pull it off like that and take this off like so. And if you don't want the cape, you don't have to have that on, which you can't actually have the cape on when you put on like his other accessories. And I'll show, you, show, show, show those shortly. Uh, but you can't pull the hood off like that and reveal his skull. Uh, and then again, you can pose the skull more like that without that collar that really holds it in place. But that looks awesome, man. Such a cool looking character. Okay, so let's talk his accessories now. Uh, we do get the standard Mezco stand, which is really nice. Uh, again, one of my favorite stands in all of action figures. Uh, we get this really cool image of Dog Nocturnal, which is really good. Uh, and then, of course, the clear articula articulated arm that comes with every figure. Uh, so I love these stands. Uh, we got things like interchangeable hands. You can see here, I have open palm hands and trigger finger hands. Uh, we have more like loose gripping hands for holding some of his accessories, but I love all the wash and all of those look great. Um, you got the more finger pointing hands and they're basically all like the Gomez hands. So if you have any of those, they're pretty much the same thing. The only thing I noticed, you don't get the hand where he's flipping the bird. So that kind of sucks, but no big deal. Oh, uh, we do get all of these little grenades here, which are really nice. And some of these are really small accessories. I'm going to try and show these off here, but it looked really cool. Love that. Nice little silver with little skulls on there. So I really dig that. You do get four of those, which are pretty cool. So I like those a lot. Uh, we also do get this little communicator. I don't know what this is. Ah, see, it's so tiny. Communicator slash tracking device. I'm not sure what this is. Uh, but in the instructions here, it shows that you can actually pull off this little pouch like that. And then I guess pop this on right there. Uh, uh, so again, I'm not really sure what it's, this exactly is. I should probably have read, it probably says it in there somewhere, but you can pop that on there if you like. So that's pretty cool. So I'm not sure how long that'll stay on there. So I'll try and leave it on for the rest of the video. So that looks pretty cool too. I love that. We also do get this like claw hook type weapon. Uh, it does hinge open and closed a little bit. So I'm kind of thinking this is like, again, I, I feel like he's probably... Uh, the Rumble Society's version of Batman. So I feel like this is probably his grapple hook, you know, and then he swings around and things like that. So that's pretty cool uh, because you get this version as well uh, that has like a little a bendy wire in it. So I'm guessing that's for, again, zip lining maybe or maybe for just grabbing onto criminals or whatever it may be. Uh, but I think it's pretty cool. So I love that. Again, looks really nice. I love the colors on that and really cool to get one with the bendy wire on there. We also do get his Tommy gun, which is really rad. Uh, that seems to be so far his main weapon that you see in a lot of the promo images. You see him having this thing, and that looks great, man. Love that the drums do come off like so. Uh, do I have that backwards? If I have, does it go this way or that way? I can't remember. It's that way, right? Uh, so that looks really cool, too. You get two of the ammo drums like this, which look really good. So I love this weapon, man. Very old school. And that's kind of like one thing, too, is like this whole character does seem very old school like an old like a uh, tv series or something type of like that or one of those radio shows you know what i'm talking about so that's kind of what this seems like so i guess this fits that era of what they're going for so i like it a lot man uh we also do get bullet effects we've seen these before you can plug that into the barrel like so plug that in there and do some types of effects we've seen these before uh same thing with a singular bullet like that which is really cool so those work great uh, we also do get his pistol on the side right here, so I'm going to take this out like that. Uh, and I like this gun a lot, man. Uh, it's, again, very old school-ish, you know, very um, 1950s sci-fi again. Uh, the handle has that little webbing, got the little skull logo. Again, very old school, yet very futuristic, so I dig that a lot. And that, too, can hold those bullet effect pieces, which is really nice. And again, you can just hold this in the holster right here. I think it works out really good, so latch that on there like that. So, again, I love that holster, man. Again, the ornateness of this entire figure is just so well done, so I really, really like this. Uh, we also do get an interchangeable head sculpt. So you can pop this skull off like that and pop on this really interesting glow-in-the-dark one. Um, and this is... It doesn't seem to be the same sculpt. There's two different sculpts. Uh, and I noticed this one has a very larger dome, and I've been trying to, like, pull the hood over that and you can do it 
uh, but it does seem like a tighter fit around the hood because this head does seem a little taller than the standard one right here. Uh, and this is meant to glow in the dark. Uh, so you can turn off some lights and it will kind of glow. Um, but I'm using a black light here so you can see that. And it looks pretty cool. I, I do like the effect that they're going with. I think it looks rad. Uh, same thing with this one. You can articulate the jaw so that's really nice. And yeah, 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 yeah. And this even color kind of reminds me of a very Skeletor-esque kind of thing. You know what I'm saying? So I think it's pretty cool. So I like that, man. Really, really cool. So I'm going to go ahead and pop off the standard one back on like that. Uh, we also do get some really nice goggles you can pop on here too. So I'm going to go ahead and slide those on like that if you want to do so. So I think that's really cool too. They got the little uh, bendy string around there. So you can wrap around the actual head. Uh, the detail, this looks great, man. I love the lenses. They're actually a clear blue lens. that almost got copper colors, silvers and browns. Looking really good, man. Almost like a steampunkish kind of vibe to that. So that looks really cool too. Uh, we also do get a type of like a gas mask type of uh, a contrapment. I'm not sure what this is. Um, so how I've been doing these, uh, I've been taking the heads off like so, and it's just easier this way in my opinion. And then putting the head on like this, slide it in that way, and then pushing up at the jaw, and it goes in there very easily. Uh, and that just looks incredible. What a cool looking gas mask with the clear lenses and the hoses right here. Uh, now I've seen multiple people putting this on and then just like having the hoses like dangle there. Um, don't do that. That doesn't look right at all. So what I've been doing, uh, I've been just kind of just taking these wires and just sliding them over the legs. I kind of like looped around the whole waist and then pulling it up like so, and then putting the head on like that. So that way the hoses can fall to the back like that. And you can put the cape on to hide them or just have them like that. So that looks awesome, man. I really like this a lot. Um, this might be the way I display my figures because I think he looks so cool that way. So yeah, that is definitely an option for you. What we also do get is this big old, what is this, a plasma cannon? I totally forgot what it's called. It's, <laughs> but uh, it, it's clearly like more of like a flamethrower looking, but they call it a, a, like a plasma cannon. I forgot, a plasma a, a death ray or something like that. But this looks really cool too, man. I love the tanks you got here. Little scratches and dents and little warning stickers and things like that. You have an actual harness that can put around the figure. Uh, I love the fact that they even did like say fully painted and sculpted inside the harness. But again, that's not really gonna show because it's gonna be in his back. Um, but it's cool that they even did that. Again, you want to just have it on display on the side. You have the option of looking at that really cool logo there. So I love that. It does have enough little give here uh, and a nice little weapon like that. So that looks cool, man. I love this like dark black, almost like a gun medical with a little bit of silver wash on there. And then we actually do get a, a beam effect, a little death ray effect that you can plug in to the barrel like that. And there you go. So that looks really cool, man. I love all the different stuff again very old school if he's coming with like a type of death ray laser beam um you know a lot of modern characters don't come with that kind of stuff so it kind of gives into the whole fact that he's supposed to be a very type of like old school type of character again very much a throwback but you know semi-futuristic you know so i love everything that we're getting here you got a ton of cool accessories that just make for one badass action figure all right, guys, now let's check out his articulation here. Uh, so the head is on a ball joint, rolls around very, very nicely, does rotate left and right, up and down about that far, and pivot side to side. Again, the jaw does articulate, so that's really cool too. Arms can go all the way up, down, out to the side like so. No butterfly joint in there. We do get rotation at the bicep, double, double jointed elbows that work very nice. A rotation at the glove, rotation at the wrist, as well as a hinge at the wrist. Uh, we do get a double ball peg in the midsection, so that rolls around, does turn left and right, pivot side to side, and crunches back and forth. We got hip joints that kick forward all the way that far, back eh, about that much, splits out to the side very, very nicely. Uh, rotation in the upper thigh, double, double jointed knees that work very nice. Uh, we got uh, nothing at the boot. Ankles seem to be on ball pegs, so those roll around, rotate up and down, and a decent ankle rocker. So overall, I think this is such a badass figure. Um, again, I'm 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 all about the more like old school kind of throwback that they're kind of doing here. I just think it's really fun design. Uh, again, I was a little jarred by the fact how little he feels compared to some of the other characters. But honestly, it doesn't bother me as much as I thought it would. He's just such a cool toy. So many awesome accessories, very rad design, and another great character to add to your Mezco shelf.
So for a quick size comparison, here he is sitting next to a Marvel Legends Deadpool and NECA Batman figures. Also for comparison, here he is sitting next to the Rumble Society Baron Bands and Pink Skulls Chaos Club member. And just for fun, here he is with Little Lego Bat Bomb. So there it is guys, my review of Doc Nocturnal. Now overall, I think this is such a rad and awesome character. I love when Mezco does their own original designs and builds their own original world. I think these are some of their best that they do for this entire 112 collective line. The articulation is super well done. I love all the rad accessories. The soft goods are incredible. The paint apps and sculpt are fantastic. And the whole ornateness of all that spider web designs is just really cool to me. This is just a fun toy again with a mix of a throwback slash science fiction. It's just a really cool action figure and I love him so much. So if you can find him, I think he's definitely worth it and absolutely a must get. So please comment, like, and subscribe. Stay nerdy, my friends. Peace.